Hey guys. Welcome to couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. He ignored a question on whether he ever set up a fund of money that Cohen could draw from. Cohen used his Trump Organization email while arranging to transfer money into an account at a Manhattan bank before he wired the $130,000 to Clifford to ensure her silence. The White House and Cohen have denied Trump had an affair with Clifford. During his session with reporters aboard Air Force One Thursday, Trump was not asked whether Daniel's claims about their relationship were true. Clifford has sued the president to void the non-disclosure agreement arranged by Cohen, alleging that it is invalid because Trump never signed it. She has also offered to give back the money she was paid so she can speak freely about the alleged affair she said on 60 Minutes that the two had sex once in 2006 and release any text messages, photos, and videos she might have. Thursday's comments were President Trump's first about the alleged payment to Stormy Daniels. However, in the interview Daniels wouldn't comment whether she had any visual evidence to release. My attorney has recommended that I don't discuss those things, she said. She also said during the interview that she was threatened in 2011 inside a Las Vegas parking garage with her infant daughter present and was told not to go public with her story. Cohen has denied any knowledge of the threat Daniels described, but has admitted to making the payment. Daniels later amended her lawsuit to claim that Cohen defamed her by portraying her as a liar. Cohen has tried to maintain a distance between the president and the payout. That attempt has been the subject of campaign finance complaints and an inquiry last month by congressional Democrats, who said in a letter to Cohen that the situation could put Trump at risk of blackmail attempts. Trump said Thursday he had not been aware at the time that attorney Michael Cohen had made a $130,000 payment to adult film star Stormy Daniels. Michael Avenatti, Clifford's attorney, immediately responded to the president's comments on Twitter Thursday, suggesting Trump's Air Force One remarks about the payment were not honest. We very much look forward to testing the truthfulness of Mr. Trump's feigned lack of knowledge concerning the $130,000 payment as stated on Air Force One, he wrote. As history teaches us, it is one thing to deceive the press and quite another to do so under oath. He later posted another tweet that poked fun at the president, claiming Trump no discipline and that because of Trump's comments the strength of our case just went up exponentially. You can't have an agreement when one party claims to know nothing about it, he added.